Hey guys, Cam from Muzzy Butte here, and today I'm just going to be making a quick little video. This is for any of you who were unsure or who wanted to know how to wire a light bar, making a DIY harness that you might have made yourself into a HB3 bulb, which is going to be that fella down there. And I'm going to be showing you the diagram and how I worked it out. As I said, just a quick video. So here's a quick little diagram that I just drew up probably in five minutes. It took really, really no time at all, as you can tell. Here's basically what I did. So here's my relay and everything. Obviously, I haven't put it in the vehicle yet. But to show you how it works, I'm going to be just turning it on and off. I've got the switch down there. When I turn my headlights and then my high beams on, you can see that my high beams are turned on. But the light bar isn't turned on. But if I jump around here and then flick this switch real quick to on and then jump back in here, flick the headlights on and then the high beams on, the light bar turns on with it as well, turns off and on and off and on and off as I please. So we're going to be starting off with the battery. The battery is just going to be positive all the way up into the 30. As you can see here, done the battery all the way down via a fuse, that's important, into the 30, which is this fella down here on the relay. And then I've also piggybacked it from the 30 to the 85 which I've also done here on the relay as well. Next, I did the light bar itself. So what I did with the light bar is I ran the positive all the way down to the 87 on the relay, and then I ran the negative to the chassis, which again is exactly what I did here. Ran it through the grill, so it's up here, attached to a Deutsch connector. So you've got the positive and the negative, as you can see here. Positive is run into the 87 of the relay down there, and the negative is just attached to a ground, so that's that one there. The last and the final step is going to be the switch itself. Now the switch is where everything gets really dicky, but it's perfectly fine. So when you're normally making up your own wiring harness, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the positive wire. So when you turn your high beams on, that wire then becomes live, and then that sends the power to the relay, powers your light bar. In this case, you're going to be wanting to look for the negative wire. So as you can see here on my little dinky switch, I've run the 86 on the relay to the accessory of the switch, not the power in, the accessory because the power in is going to be for the negative wire that goes into the negative of your HB3 bulb. Now me personally, I didn't have any piggyback connectors because it gave my last one away like an idiot. So what I did was I got the good old test light, hooked it to the negative of the battery, and then basically just tested with my high beams on and off to find out which one is going to be the negative. For those of you who don't know how to tell the positive and the negative of the HB3, basically you'll have the two wires that run in there. Get your test light, hook it up to the negative of the battery or another ground that's easiest. And you're gonna wanna poke it into each one. And as you can see, poke it into one, poke it into the second one, they both light up. And that's the thing that makes the HB3 so tricky to deal with. Now, I'm gonna go turn the high beams on. Now the high beams are on, you're gonna to wanna to poke it into one and you're not getting any power there, so it's not lighting up anymore. But if you poke it into the other one, you're still getting power to it. So the one that doesn't have power, which is going to be this big, Yellow and red wire here is going to be the negative. So I've run my wire down into the switch, as you can see, which is down here. It's the black wire that's connected, and that is put into the power in position, not the accessories. So they're basically switched around. Just copy me exactly like I did if you get lost. So my black wire here is going to be the wire that goes only into the negative of the headlight, and the red wire is the one that goes into the 86 on the relay. So just one more quick rundown real quick. Get your battery, run it up into the 30, and then also piggyback off of that line into the 85. After you've done that, get your light bar, after it's fitted, run the positive down to the 87 of the relay, and then run the negative onto any earth point. Then with the 86, run it into the accessories of your switch. If you have a three-prong switch, run the ground to the ground like you would normally, and then the power switch, so the main power, which is going to be going into the switch, you're going to want to run to the negative of the HB3 switch. Hope this helped out a couple of you guys, especially when it comes to HB3 wiring. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. It's taken me a very long time to wrap my head around it. There weren't any videos at all that I could find, basically going over and explaining how to properly wire up a HB3 switch, especially with a harness that you're actually DIY I'm making your own which as you can see is exactly what i'm doing here so if this worked for you guys then let me know cheers